Alright, so today we're going to talk about Boyle's Law. And we learned that Boyle's Law is an ideal gas law that applies at constant temperature. Okay, so ginagamit natin to sa pagkakalculate ng mga ideal gases at constant temperature. So, hindi nagbabago yung ating temperature, katulad na nakikita natin dito. No? So, in here, we have our condition 1 in which we have volume and pressure. And then, nung nag-increase tayo ng pressure, bumaba yung ating volume. Okay, so on this video, magsosolve tayo ng mga problems involving Boyle's Law. But first, let us again derive itong ating Boyle's Law, no? yung equation natin. So according to this figure, when we increase the pressure, our volume decreases. So that means our pressure is inversely proportional sa ating volume. So introducing a proportionality constant, we have P is equal to K times 1 over V. Now, I'm going to isolate itong ating constant K dahil hindi magbabago yan, whatever condition man ang ating uh, kaharapin dito sa ating system. No? So, that means we have P times V is equal to our constant K. So, we know that it means the product of our pressure and volume in condition 1 is the same to the product of our pressure and volume in our condition 2. So, that means our P1 times V1 is equal to P2 times V2. And that is our Boyle's Law. Okay? So now we are going to apply this equation by solving problems. Okay? So first problem natin is this one. An ideal gas. Okay? So identified kagad that our problem is talking about an ideal gas is compressed isothermally. Okay, so dapat naging familiar tayo sa mga terms na ginagamit natin no, sa ating mga problems. Isothermally means we have constant temperature. Okay, yan ang ibig sabihin ng isothermal. So nag-compress tayo isothermally, that means we did compression without change in temperature. Okay, so we started with a pressure of 2 atmosphere and 0.4 cubic meter to a final pressure of 8 atmosphere determine the final volume in cubic meters no so sulat muna natin yung mga given natin our temperature is constant okay so constant yung ating temperature now our condition 1 is having a pressure of 2 atmosphere so therefore our P1 is equal to 2 atmosphere. And then, while at 2 atmosphere, our volume is 0 0.4 cubic meter. So, our volume 1 is equal to 0 0.4 cubic meters. And then, we did compression no? that because we compressed our ideal gas isothermally. So, we did a compression. So, ang final pressure natin is 8 atmosphere. Now, we need to find yung ating final volume in cubic meters. So, we need to find our B2 in cubic meters. So, yan ang kailangan nating makuha. No? So, let us have our solution. Gagamitin na natin ngayon yung ating equation for Boyle's Law. We have P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. Okay, so substitute lang natin yung mga values natin. Our P1 is 2 atmosphere. Multiply to our V1 which is 0 0.4 cubic meter. And this is equal to our P2 which is 8 atmosphere. Multiply to our V2. Okay, so we need to find our V2. So we're going to isolate our B2. So, we're going to transpose itong 8 atmosphere papunta dito sa kabilang side. So, I'm going to put our B2 here sa left side. So, now we have 2 atmosphere times 0 0.4 cubic meters divided by 8 atmosphere. Okay, so as you can see, no, uh, we have here 
atmosphere na unit sa ating numerator and atmosphere unit dito sa ating denominator. So, that means we can cancel this, uh, that out, okay? So, now we can cal calculate for the value of V2. Okay, so to do that, let us use our calculator. Okay, so, so natin makuha yung V2, no? So, we have 2 times 0.4 divided by 8 and that is equal to 0 0.1 cubic meters no so isulat natin yung sagot natin we have 0 0.1 cubic meters meter and that is our final answer now let us check kung uh, nagko-confirm ba to sa ating sinabi kanina no sabi natin the pressure is inversely proportional sa volume. So, that means kapag tumaas yung ating pressure, dapat bumaba yung ating volume. So, tingnan natin dito. Our pressure is, has increased from 2 atmosphere to 8 atmosphere, di ba? So, 2 atmosphere ang ating P1. Ang ating P2 is 2 atmosphere. So, tumaas. So, dapat bumaba yung ating volume. So, our volume is from 0.4 cubic meter. Bumaba siya to 0 0.1 cubic meter. So, therefore, it conforms dito sa sinasabi natin kanina. No? So, now, let us solve another problem. So, a sample of gas occupies a volume of 225 milliliter at a pressure of 720 tor. So, given yung ating condition 1. No? So, isulat ko na para hindi na tayo malito. Volume 1 natin is equal to 225 milliliter and our pressure 1, because this is our first condition, 720 tor. Okay? Now, given din yung ating temperature 1, our temperature 1 is equal to 20 degrees Celsius. Now, we need to calculate the new pressure, okay? Pinahanap sa atin yung bagong pressure, if the volume is increased to 250 ml. Okay? So, we have this condition now. Our volume is increased, so our V2 is now 350 ml. Okay, so nag-increase yung ating volume. Pinapahanap sa atin is yung new pressure, so that means our pressure 2. Yan ang hinahanap sa atin, ano? And now, it's stated also that it is at constant temperature. So, our temperature is constant. So, our T2 is also equal to 20 degrees Celsius. So, that means we are working with constant a constant temperature that means Boyle's law will apply. Okay? So, mag apply yung Boyle's law because we are at constant temperature. So, if you are working with Boyle's law, that means yun din ang gagamitin nating equation. P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. ba? So, let us now substitute itong mga values natin. Constant yung ating temperature, kaya wala na tayong iintindihin sa temperature. So, our pressure 1 is 720 tor. Multiply to our volume 1, which is 225 milliliter. And this is equal to our P2, yan yung hinahanap natin. So, unknown. And our V2, which is 350 milliliters. Okay, so dahil P2 ang hinahanap natin, we will isolate our P2, no? So that means we have 720 tor times 225 milliliters divided by, okay, this one we are going to transpose 350 milliliter and this is equal to our P2. Okay? So, now, meron tayong milliliter dito sa numerator and denominator. So, we can cancel out these units. So, may iwan sa ating unit is yung unit na tor. Okay? So, now, we can calculate for our uh, pressure 2. Okay? So, again, using our calculator, we have 720 times 225 divided by 350 so, we have 462.857. So, 462.857. And our unit is TOR. And that's our P2, no? But, let me write that on the left. Usually, ganyan natin nire-represent. 
462.857 TOR. And this is our final answer dito sa ating problem. So as you can see, no, nung nag-increase tayo ng ating um, volume from 225 to 350 ml, but because this is inversely proportional to pressure, pag nag-increase ka ng volume, dapat bumaba yung ating pressure. So our pressure now has decreased from 720 TOR down to 462.857 TOR. So, this is how we apply yung equation na natutunan natin sa Boyle's Law in solving problems in ideal gases at constant temperature. To watch more of our lecture videos about engineering and STEM subjects, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na i-upload namin. We are regularly uploading tutorial videos in engineering, mathematics, chemistry, physics, at iba pang subject na magagamit ninyo sa inyong pagre-review. So, thank you very much sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa engineers.org.